Welcome to this Getting Started with SQL Guide. As always, this is Alistair Christie, and today we're going to look at some basic queries using the SELECT statement. But first, I should probably give you a brief definition of SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It's a standardized language for accessing and manipulating databases. I put standardized in quotes as almost every database adds its own extensions to the language. However, there is an ANSI standard for SQL, and to qualify, a database must implement certain keywords, and we're going to look at how those keywords work today. But first, we're going to write a little application so we can generate some queries and see the results. At this point, I'm going to hang my head in shame and say that we're going to use the BDE, or Borland Database Engine, for this demonstration, basically because it works straight out of the box without any server configuration. Effectively, there is no server. However, I feel I should say, don't use the BDE for any new applications. Instead, use the base Firebird, MSSQL, SQLite, Postgres, etc. Uh, pretty much anything but... With that, let's see about writing our little application. Let's create a new VCL Forms application. And we'll start by checking a panel on the top. On top. And then a tmemo, which will align right. And we'll set the anchor left to true as well, so that when we resize it, it changes its size. Angling the button. And we will need... A DB grid, which will uh, align to client, so that fills the the whole bottom area. A T query, and we'll just set the database property on it to DB demos. A data source which we link to the query, and we link the DB grid to our data source. We'll call this open, um, and we'll give it the name, and all we're going to do in here is set this close query one. If it's open, set the query SQL to the memo one text and open. Let's get rid of the um, Default text, and let's also make the font really large. Okay. Let's also set the window state to maximized and save. Okay, let's run that. And now that we've written our little application, I'm going to give you some example SQL statements. Okay, select is an SQL keyword, star means every field, from is another keyword, customer, which is our um, table. If I open that, we get every field from our customer table. Sometimes we don't want every field, so I can go company and city, and now we've only got the company 
and city. I can say is the company, and that changes the title. Or I can even omit the as, and um, that works also. If I go select country, uh, you'll notice that US is mentioned many times. Uh, but if I say distinct, which is another SQL um, keyword, we only get the unique countries. I can further say country and state, and we get the unique we get the unique country state pairs. So we get the various states in the US. Sometimes we don't want to select the whole table, but only want a subset of the data. And for that, we use the where keyword. And let's go to select star. And if we scroll across, we'll notice we do indeed get only the um, customers where the country equals US. Uh, notice the quote marks, um, these indicate uh, a string constant. I can also Oops. Let's try that again. Okay, and then we get US and Canada. Or I can use the in clause and we'll add Fiji we'll be looking at the in clause uh, a little bit later um, in the next movie but moving on And where the customer number is greater than 2,000, uh, less than 2,000. There are lots of operators you can use, such as less than, greater than, uh, equal to, not equal to, and so on. And there are a few unusual ones uh, in, which we've seen already, and also like and between. And I'll show you these briefly. With like, um, where company like this will grab every company that begins with CA um, and this grabs every company that contains SS these percent signs act as wildcards and for between You specify between uh, X and Y. So this is all the customers between two and three thousand, and it's inclusive. It'll include two thousand and three thousand. Sometimes we'll want to change the order which things are presented, and we use the order by keyword or keywords, I suppose. Um, if we get rid of the weird clause. Okay, uh, so this is alphabetical order. We can reverse that using the descending keyword. Okay, now it's in reverse alphabetical order. We can uh, do it based on two fields. And now the cities are ordered alphabetically. We've come to the end of part one and hopefully you've found it useful. We've covered a lot in a short space of time and you should by now have a good feel for using the select statement. In later videos we'll be revisiting some of these keywords as well as looking at how to insert, modify, delete plus much more. So stay tuned.